Welcome to Wilson Track Tips. Today we're going to be discussing tracker placement and where to place your tracker on a vehicle. Uh, there's only two places that we can recommend placing the tracker. It's either on the front of the vehicle or the back of the vehicle. We suggest you do not place a tracker inside a vehicle for legal reasons. Uh, we're not going to discuss the inside of the vehicle today. We're going to discuss the outside. I also have some video you can see in the bottom right hand corner that depicts where a tracker should go and a frame location. Your tracker has a magnetic attachment and on the magnetic attachment it is a magnet. Okay, Whether it's on a case or it's on an individual tracker it'll have a magnet. The antenna on a tracker is always facing upward away from the magnet. The antenna never faces downwards. So in this position your tracker is facing the sky. In this position your tracker is facing downward and the signals bounce off the road. Trackers are mounted on the outside of the vehicle facing up toward the sky or downward toward the ground. GPS signals bounce, so they bounce off hard objects. So unlike cellular signals, GPS signals are always bouncing around and you have to get a good location to get that signal. When placing a tracker on a vehicle facing up, make sure it is shooting straight upwards and it's pointing through plastic or glass such as a plastic bumper. Never point the tracker upwards towards metal. It will not penetrate metal. When placing the tracker downwards and on a frame or on the bottom of a vehicle, make sure that it's at least 12 inches from the outside of a vehicle. In other words, 12 inches from the back bumper inward. No more than 12. Make sure if it's on the side, right or left, it's 12 inches from the outside of the vehicle. Never put it on a, a spring or anything that bounces up and down. Try to mount it on a solid sheet of metal or a solid frame. It will penetrate through the ground, bounce signals, and pick up no problem at all. Never place the vehicle on the side, but never place the GPS tracker on the side of a vehicle. In other words, under a driver's door or under a passenger door. It may work, but it will not track sufficiently that you'll have an exact location, and that's a problem. So when we talk about trackers, we want to understand exactly where to put them. When you place that tracker on a car, make sure you slide your tracker. You slide it off when you get ready to take it off. You can snap it on when you put it on, but a magnet is made to slide to take off. If you try to pull it, you're pulling 25 pounds of dead weight. So you may pull the magnet off the tracker or off the case. A tracking case is made exactly the same way magnet on the back side no matter where it has one magnet or two magnets it's made to snap on the frame of a car and slide off you can also mount it on the top of the frame under the plastic bumper the optimum placement for all trackers is facing the sky never facing downward that's the optimum sometimes you have no choice if you're in a hurry research your cars here's some of the tips that we have for you research Craigslist if you want to find a car exactly like you're going to put one on. Go to a car lot and find a car, same year, same make, same model. That way when you go out in the middle of the night or you go out in this nighttime, you know exactly where to place that tracker. Thank you. Have a good day and happy tracking.